Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station update. We're here with the International Space Station Flight Control Team inside the Space Station Flight Control Room. And Emily Nelson is the day's flight director as she has been all week. Sitting beside her today is Capcom Kate Rubens. On board the space station, the three members of the Expedition 34 crew are more than halfway through their day, which began at midnight central time. Commander Kevin Ford of NASA and Russian flight engineers Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Tarelkin are all on board uh, the space station. They have been since October 25th when their Soyuz TMA 06M vehicle docked to the Russian Poisk module. Now on their 50th day at the station and their 52nd day in space, they're currently orbiting 251 miles above Russia, having just passed over Kazakhstan, which is where they launched from. Ford, Novitsky, and Turukin have been alone at the station since half of their crew returned to Earth last month, but they are just days away now from welcoming three new crewmates to the station. One week from tomorrow, they'll be joined by the remainder of the Expedition 34 crew, Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency, Tom Marshburn of NASA, and Roman Romaninko of Russia. Hadfield, Marshburn, and Romaninko are scheduled to launch into space at 6.12 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday, December 19th, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, and they're already there in Kazakhstan awaiting their departure. In fact, they'll participate in their final unsuited fit check dress rehearsal for launch tomorrow. And following their launch, they'll dock to the space station on Friday. In the meantime, Ford, Trelkin, and Vitsky are staying busy while they wait. Ford worked with a couple of different experiments today, starting with the combustion integrator rack, which holds the fluids and combustion facility. After making some preparations for the task yesterday, Ford is working now to replace the facility's multi-use droplet combustion apparatus in preparation for an upcoming experiment that will be using that facility. He'll also spend some time later in the day updating his medical proficiency training by taking a self-assessment quiz. On the Russian side of the station, Novitsky and Cherelkin are spending some more time today taking inventory of the tools and hardware on the Russian side. They're also uh, finding time for several science experiments, including one that studies the Earth's oceans and one that looks at leak detection methods on the space station. Earlier today, the team on the ground had planned to perform a reboost of the space station's at altitude using a, uh, pro the Progress 48 vehicle's thrusters. That was going to get the station into the correct position for the upcoming Soyuz launch and a progress launch that will follow it, as well as provide the team on the ground with an opportunity to test out the station's new predetermined debris avoidance maneuver procedures. However, flight controllers had some trouble locking down on one of the station's beta gimbal assemblies, which rotate the station's massive solar arrays, so that reboost was put off. The team, intren the team intends to try again on December 16th. That's what's going on in space today, and this is Mission Control Houston.